Okay guys, morning. Alex here from the channel. Uh, so, one of these machines is ours. Uh, guess which one? I think you probably know. Uh, but yeah, he's just going to take it off the wagon now and we'll go from there. Is it this one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch. Uh, what is it? I can't say what it is now. Anyway. Good, good. Okay, guys, so this is what we got in its glory. I think it'll do our wood yard quite nicely. So, yeah. Finally got us started. Preheat took a bit of time. Need to get rid of the jump on the battery, but otherwise, I hope she'll be all right. We can test her on the forks and see how she runs there. Okay, so we're just trying out a new telehand and anger, trying to get some of the logs out of here. And Dave's going to use that bucket there to push up our softwood here. Some of it's come out, but we've got to take another swipe at it. Nice and light. into the shed where it's nice and dry um, so yeah I now wish I'd gone for that extra meter in height <laughs> but there we are starting to come out drag it all out backwards not too much more now Just bringing a load of scrap into our local scrap merchant. Seems like there's always something that's coming out from the AD plant, all bits and pieces, old augers and the like. Good load. So 
we're just down here at that uh, Clearfell site and um, we've brought the dump truck down and Tim's just loading us up with a little bit of the ash which can go through the firewood processor. So that's going to be quite handy. Keep the, uh, keep the home fires burning as you say. Okay guys, just in the yard, brought the ash and the dump truck back there, so that's quite a nice load. Uh, we've got an order going to the local pub. Uh, he wants 10 cubes, so we reckon that Bailey trailer is about 10 cubes. Okay, he's just uh, got one more box there, which is over there, put in. Uh, we've refilled that container um, with hardwood. Uh, so we've got the softwood now. And um, yeah, we'll just have that, see how the guys are getting on inside see how it's all looking yeah they've just been bagging up today we've got some big but the big crates over there um using the macro for that and then yeah we're just going to form this side of the shell as a bagging zone and um yeah, doing quite a few bulk bags. They seem to be quite popular at the moment. More so than the cubic metre bags. Probably because people are, you know, coming up to Christmas, a bit worried about finances and things like that. So, uh, so there we go, guys. Just got to keep that bench, bench running hard. Okay, guys, we're just over here at the extension where we put the drainage in uh, for the new sewer. And we're going to be building out the extension on the back. And so we'll go and take a look and see how Jake's getting on over there to go on yet we're unsure until we get the roof on basically yeah and you're gonna place it with the stone is it no that's that that's ready now that's ready okay that's it was ready. the other side was it yes correct right okay so when you guys or whoever builds you know, yeah. this is their internal wall essentially yeah the extension, so okay and where's the stone gonna go so then the stone will sit on here will sit on there right and that, okay and it will tie into these that i've built oh i see yeah sure 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 you know, come up and, and it'll have insulation. Okay. A bit like in, similar in there. Yeah, yeah, actually, let's have a look. So, when the other side of that yeah. is internal, it's, it's classed as an internal wall. Though. This will be, and this will be then. That's Stephen, yeah, this yeah. is Stephen's bed. Yeah. With the roof on. And you've got these raised beds. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it's going to look cracking, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so. so amazing. Where's the cut stone that you had brought in? So, that's coming tomorrow. Oh, is it coming tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. I was they keen to have a look at that. They wanted to deliver and deliver, and we've, we've yeah. them off because yeah. we just don't want to pull it here and it gets all wet and crap. No, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Don't want that, do we? But yeah, that's uh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Good project. This is already here, and these um, are kind of little drainage points. Oh, yeah, for his bed. So if the retainer does get flooded with water, it's, yeah. got, it's got places all the way along to drain. And then where's that going to drain out into? So that will come up here, and then this will be nearly underground here. Yeah. So it will just drain out into the ground. Into the ground, right? Like a wheat, like a wheat vent. Perhaps. Yeah, I just wondered whether it wanted to have a little sort of bit of drainage into one of those points or something, you know? I think it'd be okay, but I'll keep. I'll keep yeah. In, let me keep an eye on it. Yeah. So we got a whole load of bagging done up there. Um, really, haven't got too much more dry wood left uh, after a big load to the pub. And then not too much wet wood either, just in there. These last crates to get into the kiln. 
past. We have been bringing a bit more onto the bench. So, felled a few ash today. Just popping them and splitting them there. Brought in a few beech from the fields that have fallen over. So we'll scavenge this out. And it should be, should get something out of this. Hopefully the splitter can handle these. That's, they're fairly big bits, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, so there we are guys. So we've got our next project here. We're gonna be um, trying to do for the firewood business. We've got Dan in today, so um, we'll see how he gets on with this one. So guys, we'll just put a little blob of weld on the bottom down here. That'll keep that nut in place because it's, it's pretty loose. And then we'll get a new arm for it with some proper threads down there. And um, yeah, that'll be one of the things we need to do. So uh, yeah, always a way, buying a bit of secondhand kit, isn't it? Okay guys, I'm just gonna try and squeeze in um, another kiln, I got a new one delivered over there. So I'm just gonna start stacking these three high so we can make a bit more space. What I'm finding is that these are too high to stack, so I'm gonna have to chop a little bit off just so I can squeeze them in. This one seemed to have a bit of a lower uh, poles on it, so to speak. So we'll see if we can squeeze these in and get them chopped off. Okay, so I just cut the tops off that one there. And that's fitted in quite nicely and I can put that cage in there. There's another three of there. And I think I've got just enough room for the new one there to nicely fit in this space here, especially if I move that to one side. Those are quite fresh logs. You can see the pinkness. The rest of this stuff was out for a long time. So we're just gonna keep them separate. So that will, that will need about two weeks, whereas this stuff might need only a week. Yeah, so there we are, nice and snug just using up that top space, which is where the heat is. So that's all pretty good, I think. It's starting to come on nicely, guys. Okay, guys, pretty cold day here. We are super low on firewood. So we're just going through the last scraps and bits and pieces over there with the boys. Um, so they're just hunting through every little last bit that they can. Uh, we've got these bags, which we really need to go out today. Um, we've got nothing in our dry bay here, but we are still processing. That can go back in the kiln over there. Um, and we've got another small amount of wood here, which we took down. This is very, very wet stuff. So I've just been stacking it up here, hopefully, just letting a little bit of air trying to blow through it take off some of the moisture, but it really does need to go in the kiln and be heated up properly. So yeah, those are the jobs today. A lot of this wood you can see was fallen stock um, that we took out of, the, out of the woods this year. There's not a lot of good in it. That pile there is all pretty crappy, punky wood, so it's gonna go through the chipper. And we're just sorting out this little bit here. Anything good goes in this line here. Um, we've got to work through some of these bigger pieces here, but they're probably fairly rotten. Uh, he can't even split that one there because he says the cone splitter um, won't have it. Won't even, it's just too punky for the cone splitter. So there we go. So on these super cold days, it's like we're kind of making a bread factory or something with all this steam coming out from the two engines and when you get the boiler on as well that's another pile that comes out too so the guys have just tidied up everything now there's a little bit there to go on the bench they're just taking them over in a digger 
Bernie up onto the salt bench now so we can keep the machine going. and deliver some more logs, so I'll get on with that bit of softwood now. So we're just here, gonna go and have our Christmas dinner with everybody. So off into the studio, see what's going on. See if we can get a little bit of turkey. and chilly today. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, guys. As fast as we can cut this wood and get it in the kiln, it's going out the door. So, that's our dried stock of softwood, which not many people want. We've got one boat bag of hardwood, and that is it. <laughs> so, as fast as we can get this out, it's going. Okay guys, morning, it's been pretty cold here overnight. Got down to about 90, minus nine. Uh, we've got a few problems here. The new Macbro has gone on, on the strike, can't get it to work at all. So we've got Taddy here, having a look at that. Uh, and we've got customer collecting wood. We've got Kay getting out the bays. Uh, we've emptied out uh, our dryer and our kiln. A big green box over there that we showed you earlier. They've only been in for a week, so that's absolutely flying through the wood. Uh, there's that much airflow through it. But we'll just show you what we've got in the bay now to, to bag up. Okay, so that's all the dry stuff that's come out of the kiln and the green box. Uh, we took some of the bags out already, so it's a little bit less than what it should be. Uh, we've still got this to put into the kiln to dry, that's wet. We've got some larch. Everything from a week ago has already gone out. We've got a few bags of softwood there. And um, hopefully today we're gonna have some rounds that we can cut from Robinson Timber. Uh, so we've just been clearing out over here. Haven't got too much hardwood left. That's got to go into the kiln and that's that. But he's just doing a great job on the tidy up. So we've just got a new bag loader coming here, three bag loading system, see if it works. Daddy says he reckons it's the toggle switch that's gone on this common fault on these map bros. Um, so it's taking off the steering wheel, you can see. Uh, so yesterday, yeah, it just wouldn't go back or forward. And so I said to Ray, you know, put it, switch it off and try and get it back on again. It wouldn't come back on, no electrics at all. So obviously the toggle switch gave up and it's just, so we had to push it here in crab steer into this corner and we'll see how, I'm sure Taddy will get it going for us. But um, there you go, old machines, eh? <laughs> okay, so yesterday Dave took the, uh, the screen out. This is, uh, we don't even think it's a G30, we think it's too small for this, but we've got a G50 screen, which is a lot bigger. Uh, and we're gonna give the chipper a try now and just see how that produces chip for us. It's arrived, hurrah. We can keep cutting. He's gonna put some straight on the bench. And then the rest we're going to put down there next to the forks and our broken down map row. So yeah, I just had a little go on the chipper and it's not too bad. I've just been using the ARB logs, the ARB logs, and so it's a slightly better chip now actually. It's coming out more as the G50 ought to and that smaller stuff. But it's, that was just a bit more shredded over here. little bit of a difference but 
yeah, a little bit more fines than that one, I'd say. Okay guys, we're just on our next little project here, taking down a few ash, which were looking pretty precariously overhanging that wall. There's still one there to take down, uh, but we've got the dump truck here. And um, yeah, these will get into the firewood processor and make nice logs. So yeah, that will be quite good as well. Nice cold morning, so it's good to work in these woods. Now, when, uh, you don't make too much of a mess with bits of kit. So we just got some potatoes in. Uh, we're using a the chopper there um, to chop them up. And um, yeah, they make, they go nicely into the plant diet. They've got a bit more energy than maize has, so they're all right. Every so often, you get a little bit of wood in, like that one. And that doesn't really want to go very through very well, so I'll put that to one side and off we go. Uh, it's not a pretty cold day here, uh, but hopefully uh, it's changing at the weekend. And I think we've got a storm coming through, so yeah, all up and down. But yeah, it, Ray will just work through that pile and make a nice load over there. So guys, I'm just getting the fines out of the wood chip box. I've lifted it up for the telehandler and the outside has got completely frozen and the inside's come out it's like a kind of ant hill, mole hill with a hard outer crust. <laughs> that was the inside and the outside won't come. Unbelievable weather.